Hello and welcome to Wilcom's video short series for Embroidery Studio E4.0 for beginners. Uh, today I'm going to show you from start to finish how to add text to a design. Uh, here i am got my setup here on my screen and I want to make sure also that um, um, I'm going to navigate to file here because you want to make sure uh, that you have the proper settings for the fabric that you're going to stitch on in production. So I'm going to navigate up to my design drop menu here. I'm going to scroll down to Auto Fabric Assistant, and uh, for this job here, it's being done on PK Knit Fabric. So I'm going to make sure that my check here is by my Apply Auto Fabric, and I'm going to click my down arrow, and I'm going to scroll to uh, PK, and select it, and I'm going to click OK. Okay, so I have my settings set up for uh, the PK Knit. So all of my underlay settings and um, my spacing settings are set up. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to import my design. I'm going to go to File. I'm going to scroll down and I'm just going to choose Open. And you find your location by going in, whether it's your desktop uh, or any uh, USB stick or what have you. And I'm going to click on my design. My design, I double clicked on it, it appears on the screen. I'm going to roll it up a little bit here because my text is going to go on the bottom of it. Okay and uh, my text is going to go straight across it's not going to be arced so knowing that is, is very good also and uh, at this particular point here I'm just going to navigate uh, over I'm going to right click on my letter A okay I'm going to click inside my little box here and type in my text as I tap my text in, uh, I want to make sure that um, that I go in and a uh, customer just called and said that they wanted the text actually um, arced across the top. So that will change my setup here. So for this, I want to make sure that I have my setting for uh, my arc clock clockwise. And so I'll scroll down my list. I'll go to my baselines here, click my down arrow, and choose um, arc clockwise. Okay. As I navigate up top, I'm going to go in. I can change my font now or I can do it later. Uh, I'm just going to create the text. And just keep in mind that when you are doing an arc, um, you need three reference points for the arc. Um, one would be at uh, 9 o'clock as, as I left click. I'm going to press my control key down and drag it straight across like this. And I'm going to left click also at 3 o'clock and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to click also at 12 o'clock so when I left click my text will appear on the screen here I want to make sure also that my text here is large enough I'm going to do a control A to select my text to make sure I'm going to check the size of it here you can scroll um, here your settings here for your uh, measurement tools and we're good on that and stuff so all I gotta do now is go in I'm gonna click on the lettering you notice the node points are on the outside of it I want to stretch it from the center uh, so I'm gonna press my shift key down and hold it and then drag my text out like this it'll tell you on the screen here the width and the percentage that you're actually changing this If that's not enough again I can click press my shift key down and just drag it out like this making sure that it's centered on the screen if you click on the text uh, you'll see the center point here now if I also um, draw a box by left clicking my mouse button holding it down and dragging it over the object here it's telling me I can see that the center here is uh, directly in the center of my zero which which is where I want it to be and but this one's a little off okay uh, from your tools that you have inside your uh, software uh, you can go in and you can adjust uh, the settings on this and you will adjust those settings uh, in your arrange tools here and this is what they look like okay if you don't see the arrange tools here on your screen or whenever you have uh, an icon that's not on the screen uh, you can navigate upper right corner to an open space right click your mouse button 
and whatever is not checked is not on the screen. So you want to make sure that you have that checked. So um, as I scroll up here and I can see uh, what's selected and what's not selected. And as I select here, of course, I have a check here because my arrange toolbox is on, is on the screen. Okay, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to uh, first um, group everything together. And what I, what I mean by that is just the bird. Okay, I'm going to group this. Navigate here, select group. And I want to center everything now. So I'm going to draw a box. I left click my mouse button around the whole design. And I'm going to choose this option here, which is align centers vertically. And it will align my centers vertically, just like that. If I choose to, I can ungroup everything at this particular point here. move this back and again you see how I uh, when you move these icons here you have to click on uh, the left side of it here until you see a four-pointed arrow like this and then you left click your mouse button and then you can drag that around and just when you're ready to drop it just release your left mouse button okay now I want to center this uh, also on the page as well so I'm just gonna select everything here you don't have to do this uh, this is just an option I'm gonna navigate to my position X and Y. I'm just going to type 0 here and 0 here and press enter. So now my design is centered with the design with the white crosshair in the center and it's centered on the page as well. Okay. At this point here, I'll just go in and go to file and choose save as. And I'll go in and type in my, my name. Swan Ridge and I'm going to click Save. Okay, next. Um, I want to make sure also that before I save it out to my flash stick, I want to make sure that uh, it is stitching uh, in the proper order. Okay, um, if you uh, want to get rid of any colors here on the bottom that you don't need, of course, you can always navigate over. Here's a little X here. If you highlight it, it'll say Remove Unused Colors. If I left click it, It'll only use the colors that I have on the screen. Next, I'm going to go up and I'm going to choose my stitch player and watch it stitch out. You can increase the speed by moving this tab. And I can see that there's some items in here that I forgot to take out these. That's why this is so important uh, to go in and use this uh, feature inside the program. I'm going to stop it. And these items here, my color object list, I, always, I will also recommend that you leave your color object list open. Of course, here's your little tab. You want to make sure that it's pointed down so it locks on the screen. And I'm going to click uh, number four to select all of these items here. And I'm going to delete them. Okay. And I've already saved it the first time. Um, any, any time afterwards, I can just go up here to my little floppy disk and left click it also to save it. Okay. Let's try it again. Stitch player, I'm going to run it. Goes in. Make sure I have the proper underlay. It goes in and does my lettering. Okay. Stop it here. I want to make sure that my text here, as you, I have the Auto Fabric Assistant, uh, but I'm going to change this. I'm going to go in. I'm going to select this here. Now you notice what's happening here as I go in and I left click. It's not allowing me to select anything. Okay. Whenever you see that in your program, basically, um, the first thing that I would do is I would right click on the lettering and go into the object properties and you're gonna check something under special as you scroll down your list here I'm gonna check the sequence and whatever happens when you go in and try to uh, make a change and it does not allow you to do it usually that font is as digitized like you see here and that means that the digitizer digitized this font in a specific manner and wanted to keep the settings um, 
I'm, I don't want to do that because I do want to be able to go in and change the settings. So I'm going to click the down arrow and I'm going to change this to closest join and click OK. So now when I go to my lettering and I choose my underlay settings here, now it will let me actually do it. And I'm going to use by segment, which is by individual object, and I'm going to use a run stitch. Okay. Now, again, you can't run that stitch player enough uh, because it just shows you everything that you that to expect on the machine when it stitches out. So it goes in. Stitches all my objects on the screen here. Okay. And if I, if I want to go in and uh, change the stitch sequence here, um, I can go in. I'm going to stop it first. And I noticed here on this wing, as I select it, and I want, I want to go to my reshape mode, so I'll press H. I want it to exit, not here. I want it to exit. I want to stitch it outward like this. So it's so it's finished so, so it pushes the fabric this way instead of uh, this way okay and I'm going to save this again stitch player can't run it enough it's crucial as it goes in okay it, Excellent. So it goes in, it finishes it off. I can see my running stitches underneath like this. And so again, save it. File. Save as. There's my design here, saving as an EMB file. It knows that it's already on there, so it'll ask me, do I want to replace it? Yes. And there we are. If I press the number one key. Here it shows it one to one. And uh, that's going to do it. I want to thank you very much uh, for joining me. As always, uh, we ask you to visit us at www.willcomeamerica.com. Thank you.